Yo, what is good guys? It is your boy Jason JV and for today's reaction video guys, we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, there's a video that's being spread around on YouTube. Um, a lot of channels have uh, given their takes on this. This is basically uh, an incident that took place in Canada where um, a 19 year old girl was dressed up as a stormtrooper and apparently this was for a, uh, you know, to celebrate uh, Star Wars Day which was the 4th of May today being May the 6th so this was a couple of days ago when this incident had occurred and basically what, what we're gonna do is uh, well at least what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna try to be as fair and objective as possible I'm not gonna side with either party I'm gonna look at the whole thing assess the situation and um, basically just give my take you know what I'm saying pretty much how, what I did with the um, six seconds versus Luke gone video yeah, I didn't side with either party. I was being as neutral as possible. Same thing I'm going to do here. I'm going to be neutral. I'm going to try to understand both sides of the situation and just basically give my opinions and what have you. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and uh, let's get right into this. Uh, once again, this is the uh, incident that took place in Canada where police arrested a 19-year-old girl who dressed up as a stormtrooper Um to celebrate um, with her uh, place of business, you know, Star Wars Day. So without further ado, let's uh, get right into it. I'm recording you. Can you do a dance? Can you dance? What can you do? Can you do your stormtrooper walk? Do the march. Do the, do the march. Okay, so as we can clearly see, the this girl, she's in full stormtrooper garb. She's got the little Stormtrooper blaster. Uh, this is going to be real significant for what occurs later on in the video. So uh, let's keep that in mind, all right? Do the march. Do the, do the march. I'm going to shoot you. Is that the march? Do the dance, do the dance. Okay, so as we can see, uh, clearly... Can, uh, Canadian police were uh, in the area. Stop they have a weapon, or at least the cop that they, the first cop they passed, he had a weapon aimed at the girl. As you can see, they asked her to drop her weapon, uh, which was actually a toy. As you can see, the weapon is clearly, the weapon and or toy is clearly on the ground. She has her hands up. So basically, she's you know, complying with the officer's orders. Stop, stop. stop. Okay, now I don't know what it's like to wear a stormtrooper helmet. But word got out that supposedly she wasn't sure what they were telling her. She couldn't quite uh, make out what they were saying. If that were true, then how? Then why would she put her weapon on the ground? I guess one could argue that maybe she did it out of fear, being that she was able to recognize, hey, it's Canadian police. They had their weapons out, so that's why she. So her instinct was to put her weapon down, which was a smart move, but. Um, as far as everything else, I mean, it's debatable. You know, maybe she couldn't have heard the officers when they were giving her orders. Because she did kind of look back, too, towards her place of business. You know what I'm saying? Like, towards her boss. Like, what, what, what do I do? And everything, you know. Because, and again, you know, to be fair, I don't know what it's like to wear a stormtrooper helmet. I don't know what you can and cannot hear. I mean, but then again, you go back to the beginning of the footage... Obviously, she had the stormtrooper helmet on, and she was able to hear uh, her manager, you know, ask her, "Can you do this? Can you dance or whatever?" So, I don't know if I necessarily buy that argument. She couldn't hear them. I mean, obviously, the officers—they were not talking in a normal, you know, tone of voice. They were yelling, so she should have been able to hear them quite clearly. And as soon as they said, "You know, get down on the ground," it doesn't matter if you did anything or not. Just comply. Just make life easier on yourself and comply. As long as you comply, the officers really can't do much else to you. This Canadian police. OK, 
Okay, so I got to give the girl credit. At least she was able to drop down to her knees. Um, maybe because of the way the outfit is, she's trying to figure out, like, what's the best method, what's the safest way to, to get down to the ground while being in out in that outfit. I mean, I never worn a Stormtrooper outfit, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know how easy it is to function in an outfit like that. Okay, dude, why you... Oh, okay. Should have got the address and the manager, like, right away, instead of everything else you shot. So, as you can see, the manager was trying to clear things up with the cops, saying, hey, she works for me, you know, she's doing she's doing a, a promotion for us, you know what I mean? And the officer clearly told the manager, you know, you need to stay back, stay where you're at, hold your ground, basically. Now, as you can see here, the, the girl is uh, crying. Um, supposedly, in the news article that, that addressed the situation, um, the officers pushed her down, and um, they, they they said that her face was bleeding uh, somewhere around the nose, mouth area. I don't know if that's true. I mean, clearly, you know, from our vantage point, you can't really see any blood. But if that's true, then these cops were way out of line and i feel like they should um pay for that girl's medical bills because that that was just uncalled for that was just uncalled for and clearly these cops they know you know they messed up and for them to continue to go through this process you know what i mean it's just wrong dude there's nothing wrong with admitting that you messed up just admit you messed up you made a mistake there, there's no shame in that we're all human. It happens. Shit, that's a girl, man. Fuck. Yo, fuck this bitch. He's got the fucking shotguns. <laughs> Why? Seriously. This is Canada. We don't have guns in Canada. Go record us. Go record us. But don't come approaching us. Stay no. back there, like everybody else. Okay, but please. this is Canada. That's not a gun. It's a plastic gun. I can I buy that at the dollar store. They're gonna get arrested if you interfere here. Stay back. Yeah, don't be an idiot like this guy here. You know, there's a reason why cell phones have a zoom feature on the camera. You know what I mean? Not not a bold mood, um, bold mood, not a bold move on this guy's part. It's not brave. It's just stupid. It's reckless, and it, it doesn't help that you talk like like a valley girl. Like trying to tell this guy, hey, it's a fake plastic gun. I can get that for for real cheap at the dollar store. Nobody cares, dude. Just keep your distance, all right? Because all you're doing is just making things worse. All right, you're not helping matters. You may have good intentions, and that's all well and good. But the best thing for you to do is just keep your distance. You know what I mean? These guys know they messed up. There's a lot of witnesses around. I highly doubt they're going to go any further with way too many witnesses around. Oh, okay. Oh, so when, oh, okay. This is the United States of America. Yeah, that's Donald Trump and his people. They're fucking cops. Okay, dude. There's no reason into making this a political thing. You're trying to say it's the United States of America. It's Donald Trump and his people. Dude. It's, it's it's in Canada. I mean, you're probably being ironic. You're probably being, you know, sarcastic and whatever. But, dude, that's not the time or the place. Fucking cops.
I'm trying to see the name of this place. So the, the name of this place is Coco Vanilla Galactic Cantina. And then as you can see, they got, you know, Disney logo, Marvel, Star Wars. So obviously they're celebrating Star Wars. You know what I mean? It's called Galactic Cantina. So, I mean, there you go. Makes sense why they would do like a, storm, a Star Wars theme, you know, celebration to celebrate Star Wars Day. I don't know if legally they're allowed to do that, you know, because licensing and whatnot. Um, I don't know how the laws of that work in Canada, um, but anyway. Oh my god, are you serious? A plastic gun? Okay, in Canada we don't have guns. That's plastic. I should have took it. I should have took it right away. Yeah, you take the gun and run off with it, would have got your ass shot. Again, this guy's a fucking moron. Stupid cops. Get arrested. Says a guy who thought about grabbing that plastic gun, you know what I'm saying, and make life harder for himself. No, dude, you're stupid. The cops are stupid too for going way too far, but your ass is also stupid for thinking about grabbing that gun. Saying, oh, I should have grabbed that gun. I should have went and grabbed that gun. You're a fucking moron. I said for a plastic gun. <sighs> oh, what a fucking dick. Okay, whatever. Nothing. And I, I apologize for all the, you know, the crazy movements in the camera. I know that could probably cause motion sickness. To be honest, I'm feeling a little lightheaded because you got a jackass working the camera. Bro, I thought she was promoting here. She is promoting here. This is fucking ridiculous. She works for you. Yeah. Yeah. She has a fucking costume. Tell her she's my employee and you guys are going to freaking get charged. Go tell well, them. We're definitely going to hear from the lawyer. That's for sure. Tell her, tell her she's my employee. Dude. He already did. And you even caught it. You even caught the footage of him. Caught? You even caught the footage of him doing so. Again, jackass running a camera. I thought she was joking sign. I never even seen this place till now. Coco Vanilla Galactics is gonna. What do you guys do here? We're a restaurant, man. It says Marvel, Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> Is she Star Wars? That's or Star Trek. <laughs> I don't know, but anyways, that that costume's awesome. Where did she get that? That's at least a thousand dollars for that costume. Like it's all hard, buddy. Bruh, for real, you're worried about the price of the costume, and you're trying to make light of the whole situation, really. Okay, fine, bye. Anyways, see ya. <laughs> okay. Uh, enough with the motion sickness and enough with hearing this dumbass. Um, so, okay. From what I'm seeing in this footage, um, there's a lot wrong with this, okay? And the fault lies, of course, with the officers for going too far, okay? I'm not siding with the cops. But at the same time, I can understand what the cops were thinking when they arrived on the scene. They saw someone dressed up as a stormtrooper. They saw them holding a gun. Now, to be fair, we don't know if the... I'm not saying that blasters are real or anything like that. We don't know if that is some form of a real gun or a toy. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, though, the cops, they got close enough to know for sure that it was a toy. It's part of the costume. It's part of a promotion that this employee was doing for the restaurant. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Damn, I had to go get some water. My, my throat was a little dry. So anyway, <clears throat> what was I saying? Yeah, so uh, to kind of recap, okay, cops arrived on the scene. Again, to be fair, they weren't sure. <clears throat> they weren't sure 
uh, if the gun was real or not. Obviously, though, they got close enough to uh, find out that it was a toy. Okay, it was part of a costume. Okay, and that it was to, you know, pro it was to help celebrate uh, Star Wars Day for the restaurant that this girl works for. <clears throat> the manager uh, did the right thing. He came out, obviously, and informed the cops that it was his uh, employee. Cops told him to stay back. We saw this in the footage earlier. So I don't know why this jackass behind the camera was telling the dude, hey, tell him that, that, that that's, her, you know, your employee, she works for you or whatever. Obviously, he did already, dude. But anyway, sorry, I don't mean to sound like a broken record. But, um, <clears throat> th there's, uh, and then this camera guy was no help. He was just being a nuisance. I mean, he was, he was a big help in getting the footage. You know what I'm saying? He did the right thing there by getting the footage and recording what was going on, what was happening. You know what I'm saying? That was good. But him in try to uh him uh asserting himself or inserting himself rather into the situation, you know what I mean, by approaching the uh the uh scene, you know what I mean, did not help matters and then saying some something like, Oh, I should have went and grabbed the gun or blah blah blah. That was stupid too. So he's in the wrong for that. <clears throat> the girl obviously is the innocent party in all this. You know, she only did what she was told. You know, by her manager. You know what I mean? She was just following orders. You know what I mean? Um, the manager... Here's where the manager fucked up. At least in my opinion. Instead of having the stormtrooper out there with a gun. <clears throat> with a gun. You know what I mean? Regardless if it's real or fake. Maybe instead have her out there with a sign. Like, you know... um, How you have people in costume. You know what I mean? Uh, out on the sidewalk. They're doing a promotion for a place of business. You know what I mean? You see them out there with their headphones on. They're dancing around. They'll, they'll be dressed in a costume most of the time. You know what I mean? They're twirling the uh, signs or something like that. You know what, you know what I mean? Uh, she, I'm not saying she had to do all that. But, I mean, if you were to give her, like, some kind of sign so that way she can just kind of dance around and have a sign and say, Hey, you know, in celebration of Star Wars Day, we're having a special here at our restaurant. You know what I mean? Instead of holding the gun, I think that would have made things a whole lot easier and it would have helped to uh, avoid this situation altogether. So that's where the manager, in my opinion, kind of fucked up. Because word is, um, according to the uh, article um, that's also available online, if you guys want to Google it, um, someone put in a call. Someone re reported the girl being out there dressed up and having the gun in her hand. And if that's true, then whoever made that phone call, they're, they're in the wrong too, and they're, and they're fucking assholes for that you know what I mean <laughs> so yeah look again I understand where, where, where the police were coming from they answered a call they looked into a situation but then they fucked up when they when they took shit too far um obviously something happened to, to the girl because she was crying um again word had it that um they they pushed her down when she got to her knees because she didn't get down to her stomach right away and uh, supposedly she was bleeding at the face if that's true put then these cops should um do right by this girl by um at least paying for her medical bills you know what i'm saying uh word is that the uh, police commissioner is aware of the situation and he's uh he and or she i don't know the name of the police chief or commissioner um but there's an investigation going on uh with the officers and how they handled the situation and um hopefully these officers they get they get what they deserve you know what I'm saying? And if they're not going to pay for the girl's medical bills, then hopefully the police commissioner um, <clears throat> will will uh, help pay for the girl's medical bills. You know what I'm saying? That's the least they can do, you know what I mean, to make things better for her. What's fucked up about this whole situation is that this girl is never going to forget this day for the rest of her life. That is what's fucked up. You, you know what I mean? This is a very traumatizing situation for someone in her position. You know what I mean? It's, it's not something she's going to be able to get over like the next day, the next couple of days, week, month, years. No, she's going to remember this for the rest of her life. You know what I mean? Think about it. Someone has a, a gun, a real gun aimed at you all because, you know, you're dressed in a costume and you're holding a toy. You know what I'm saying? It's like, how, how, do, you, how do you forget something like that? You know what I mean? That situation could have easily, easily went north real quick. It could have, but thank God it didn't. Uh, the girl, for the most part, is okay. And um, 
yeah, it's a very messed up situation. Again, cops were wrong, you know, when they had that, when they took the girl down, uh, handcuffed her, arrested her. Um, the manager messed up by not giving the girl a sign instead of the gun. Instead of having her out there with the gun, she gave her a, a sign. That way, everyone in the area would have known, oh, okay, they're doing a promotional thing. But granted, <clears throat> whoever made, made the call, I'm sure it was someone that was in the area. They knew the situation. They put in a call anyway, and that's fucked up. And they're in the wrong for that. So, yeah. And this guy, the only thing uh, right that he did was recording everything. But where he fucked up is trying to insert himself into the situation. You know what I mean? Giving the cops attitude, that didn't help matters either. And then making that stupid statement about going to grab the gun. So, there you go. The only innocent party in all this is the girl. So, there you go. And the manager, again, should have had a sign to avoid this whole situation altogether. You know what I mean? Because I felt like this could have been easily avoided had the girl been out there with, with a sign, you know what I'm saying, instead of a gun. But that's just my opinion. Um, and that's pretty much it. I'm starting to sound like a broken record, repeating myself. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end the video here. Guys, let me know. Uh, feel free to share your opinions. Let me know where you stand in this situation. You know what I mean? Please feel free to provide any and all feedback and insights in the comments down below. If you agree with my reaction, if you agree with my breakdown, you know what I'm saying? Please let me know with a thumbs up, thumbs down, depending on how you feel. And uh, yeah, if you're new here, uh, welcome. Thank you for your view. Very much appreciate it. Uh, hopefully you'll consider subscribing to the channel and uh, be a part of the Jason JV family. We'd very much love to have you. And um, don't forget to follow me on the gram, SoundCloud. You know what I'm saying? We very much appreciate it. And um, yeah, one like equals one prayer for this little girl, this 19-year-old girl, I should say, rather. Um, yeah, and two shares equals two prayers, guys. So uh, yeah, I hope this girl gets justice. You know what I'm saying? And um, I hope either the uh, police department or her manager one or the other um pays for her medical bills you know what i'm saying if there was any damage done to her that that is um obviously we couldn't see that in the footage but i'm saying if there is hopefully either police station or manager pays for her medical bills you know what i mean <clears throat> and uh yeah yeah tough one but you know it is what it is it's your boy, Jason J. Vies, and y'all take care. I'll catch y'all in the next one. All right? Peace.